So I was talking about uh, generating uh, sample data in uh, in uh, Jira, and I also promised that I will share the data with all of you. And I'm I'm working on it. I'll I'll, I'll definitely share it with uh, with you guys. But today I, I I thought I'll probably share a small thing that I do normally when I have to let us say uh, do a demo of uh, Jira or or anything to do with Jira. Jira software, Jira service management. I do have uh, some data with me that I always uh, import with new set of dates so that uh, the reports will show you something over the period of few months, past few months or maybe few weeks. But if you have to do it on your own, then I recommend that you go to your Jira instance. I'm sure you have some Jira instance um, and there, there are few things that, that you can do. If you have a Jira instance where you have absolutely nothing, like no data at all, if you go to your uh, board, and by the way, I'm talking about Jira Cloud. It is something. It is similar on Jira Server. And if you go to the create board, op uh, create board option on top right corner, you can actually create uh, a Scrum board with sample data, and create a Kanban board with sample data. So do that because it will give you a project with uh, with recently filled in issues. And uh, when you have these issues with you, of course, you will have, I think, 25 issues. But imagine that you have a lot of those issues. And, uh, you're, and I'm talking about cases where you are working on a Jira instance where you have absolutely nothing in the beginning. So what I normally do, I always go to the issue navigator. And after I have generated that sample data, of course, you can't really keep on generating sample data for like 10 projects. I mean, you can, but uh, maybe you want data in just one project. So what I do, I go to my issue navigator and uh, filter for those issues. Like right now in my Jira instance, I have 345 issues, but of course I can limit it to maybe those newly projects. And then I simply export to Excel. And when I export it to Excel and, and I'm doing it for cases when you want, uh, I will definitely share the CSV field, CSV file with common fields. But when you generate this Excel sheet from your instance, it will have, uh, let us say, your user, like reporter, assignee, and uh, the fields that are relevant to your instance. It will, this particular file will have a lot of fields. In fact, all the fields. Uh, so you, you can select all fields and it will give you an Excel sheet. Then And then, of course, you can work on the Excel sheet to a, a CSV file that, that you can use to maybe uh, uh, open it in uh, Excel and then work on the Excel. So what I recommend, if you're, if you're doing something similar, always try to keep summary because, of course, you need summary. Issue type because you need issue, issue type. Status is, of course, uh, good because when you're looking at some of the reports, you, need, you can show statuses you can show pie charts or uh, uh, issues with uh, uh, gadgets with the created versus resolved bar chart and uh, trend, I guess. Then, of course, uh, you can use the project key. And the reason I'm telling you that you should try to export because when you export it from your project, the things uh, things like issue type statuses will be relevant for those project keys from where you're exporting the data. And uh, if you are using project key, in your CSV, or if you want to import data to a specific project, then you need to specify the project name and project type. And project type could be software, business, or service desk. Priority is also a good example because you need priority. Assignee ID and reporter ID. Uh, the, 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 CSV, the CSV file that I will share, I will not keep assignee ID uh, because it is uh, it, it should be specific to your instance. Uh, but of course, on server, if you have any username, then it can pr probably easily match or create. Then definitely have uh, dates like created date, due date, resolved dates, uh, because those will help you in, in the reporting. Description, of course. And if you're talking about, uh, let us say, Jira service management, then you can use uh, organization field. Uh, and uh, maybe maybe any other field. So bare minimum, at least have those mandatory fields like summary, issue type, and uh, dates, along with uh, if possible statuses 
and uh, maybe few few projects and when you when you import it in your uh, in your jira instance of course uh, you can have uh, those reports that will uh, show you trend over the period of time and that really is uh, helpful when you are maybe demo or doing a demo of jira or maybe you are doing some testing uh, but of course the the csv that, that i'm working on i'm trying to think of a way where not only you can import data using csv which you can i'm sure but i'll along with the csv file i'll also share one uh, configuration so uh configuration file or maybe couple of configuration files so that you can uh, so you don't so that you don't have to map because when you use the configuration file it will let you it will basically do the mapping for you and that really uh, saves a lot of time so i'm working on this uh, this site project these days where uh, i will share things so that you can uh, sh you can easily let us say create uh, maybe projects on uh, on your cloud inst instance of jira and also import it with some data some some data that can help you with the, with some decent reporting but at the same time apart from using the csv import method i am also thinking of uh, in fact i do that already i also have a uh, few scripts that can actually generate this data uh, but that script is a uh, very specific to my instance and it won't work so i'm trying to create i'm 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 trying to create uh, some kind of a guide like do this uh create a project then create these uh, configurations in your jira instance and then of course run the script uh so that you can populate your uh, your uh, instance with some data so the script can also randomly generate the summary and uh, some dates but it can also there is an option in the script to also read the data from the csv file so you can use csv to import using the the csv import feature or you can use the script uh these things work on my instance on my on my computers but uh, the thing is that when i share them easily i mean when i share them you won't be able, uh, i don't think you can easily use them so that is why uh, that is what i uh, uh, that is why i need some time to organize these things so i'll i'll try to share slowly and gradually over the period of time and you no, normally i mean if you have been following my videos normally i spend uh, some time maybe a month on on creating a series of videos like like last year i i worked on uh, rest api and then i also did series of videos on uh, script now for jira on cloud then i also moved on to automation and uh, and and uh, earlier last year i did a series of videos on uh, advanced road maps uh, so this is what i like doing like i, I spend a uh, few weeks doing something which is uh, uh which which is which i think will help a lot of people i i, I of course have i i do have other plans <clears throat> for uh, for helping uh, you guys if in case you are trying to do wonderful things with the collision tools but right now my focus for the next few weeks is uh, to is to basically help you with with i mean when i talk about sample it is not just uh, pop populating the jira instance with sample data things like uh, let us say um in case you are a consultant or maybe you have to demo jira or atlassian tools to someone or maybe maybe you want an instance where you can perform some testing maybe you are playing with the uh, reports because if you are if you are trying to use jira and you are not really sure about how reports will look like then having an instance with some data will really help you and maybe your stakeholders in case you are you're trying to convince someone else and uh, maybe maybe you have to uh, maybe, maybe you are you are writing some integration that will do something with jira but you don't have data so having some data over the period of time in my opinion is really helpful uh, for 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 doing of course those things that i just mentioned but also i believe uh, uh, in uh, learning the product so let us say if you are uh, learning jira maybe you are thinking of uh, getting certified and uh, of course you can sign up for a cloud instance but when you don't have data in place uh, it is a bit difficult so apart from data i am also thinking of ways so that you can also have uh, configurations things are a bit limited on cloud when you are on cloud you can't just run a script and it will have each and everything 
because REST API is limited. You can do things, but not everything. On server, of course, uh, with the help of Java APIs, you can actually transfer the configurations or I run scripts. It, I have some, some scripts that can uh, create issue types or uh, maybe uh, copy a workflow or create a project and do those things, which is always handy. But on, on cloud, you need to rely on the, the REST API. So I'm also thinking of ways to thinking of ways by which I can efficiently uh, share I, I can share those things with you so that you can efficiently clone the, clone the environment uh, or at least have some configurations that can accept that data so that is what I thought I'll probably share with you so today I of course wanted to give you some tips around uh, uh, generating your own data in case you are because a couple of weeks back my one of my friends was asking me uh, about sample data and uh, I thought I'll probably uh, share with you as well, like how, how you can do it yourself. This is, this is uh, what I do. I use Jira sample projects, a couple of them, and then I export everything in CSV and I cop copy and paste the rows. So if I have like roughly 1000 rows, 1000 entries in the CSV, I just change the dates. In Excel sheet, you can easily change the dates of uh, of maybe those created or uh, or due dates, for example, uh, columns. And then, of course, you can import everything back to Jira with, of course, uh, a, a file, configuration file for doing the mapping. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.